Hello there lads and lassies, welcome to Scottish Geeks. Today we're going to be checking out a game called The House Abandoned. This game was uh, recommended to me by Rich from the Bumpkin Brothers and the message was passed on to me by Andy of the Bumpkin Brothers. <laughs> Just look at this man, look, 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 look. Copyright 1986, no code limited. Okay, the house abandoned. Um, it just, it looks very intriguing to me. Um, look at the computer, look, look, look. That's a spectrum, That it says futural, but that's that's a fucking spectrum for uh, 128k plus. Uh, but yeah, anyway, I was seven. If this, when this game is set, I was seven years old, pal. And the music is so nostalgic. Okay, um, what's this? You pull up to the driveway of the family holiday home and you park the car. It's dark, but it's as idyllic as you remember from all that time ago. You remember being told to check the glove box before going in. It's good to be back! It is good to be back. Okay, right, let's uh, check the glove box. Okay, is that rotary? No, that's, that's just a standard thing, the phone. But I remember they had the volume on them and everything. Inside is a key and a handwritten note from Dad. You take both. Okay, uh, let's read the note. The note is from your dad and reads, Hi son, I hope you enjoy your break. You'll need to fire up the generator around back to get power and lights on. Also, I found something in the attic for you. It's in your room. Enjoy. Press any heat to continue. I think I've got a cold coming on. My voice has gone that deep crackly way that I like so much that I wish I didn't have to get cold for. You're sitting in the car, parts of the driveway. You have taken a note and a key from the glove box. Okay, well I'm guessing we should leave the car. Okay, so we're leaving the car. We've got out the car, we're stretching our legs. Okay, so the house is grand, sat perfectly amongst the trees. In front of you is the front door and the yard stretches around to the back of the house. Now the note did say the generator is around the back of the house, so I think we should go and check out the generator. So let's go to the yard. There we go, you walk around to the yard. You walk through to the yard, you spend a lot of time here with your family on holiday trips, good memories. But where's the generator? I'll get a little look around. There we are. You see a generator on the back wall of the house. Alright, okay, use a uh, generator. That's how you spell it, yeah. You switch the generator on and it works to life. The house is still dark. Well, that's normal because if you turn the generator on, the lights of the house don't automatically come on unless it's a magic house. But, well, you never know, it could be. Um, go to house. Ah, okay. You go back around to the front of the house. Uh, house is grand, so I blah blah blah, we've already read that. Okay, um, go to door. That's what I don't understand. Okay, use door. Um, open door. Okay. Oh, the door is locked. Oh yeah, we've got a key. Right, okay, um, use key. You insert the key and turn. The door lock clicks open. Um, open door. There we are. You enter the house to the hallway, it's dark and you can't see anything. You feel a light switch next to the door, however. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's a an obvious one. Okay, um, use light switch. There we go. You switch the lights on. Ah. The hallway is now brightly lit. There's access to the kitchen and living room here, as well as a set of stairs going up. Now, the, the father did say that the there was a present in the bedroom, so I'm guessing the bedroom's upstairs, so let's uh, go upstairs. Make your way upstairs. The stairwell landing, there's a bathroom and two bedrooms, yours and your sister's. Is that it? Two, two bedrooms. And why was the dust coming down? I just saw that there. Okay. Um, go to my room. You go into your bedroom. You enter your old bedroom. So many good memories in here, and it's been preserved so well. On the desk is a gift wrapped box. Oh, look at box. A large gift wrap present. The tag says your name. Well, why did it say Derek instead of your name? I hate when folk do that. Alright, okay, so um, open gift. I'm guessing. I'm sorry, I don't understand. Um, open box. You open a present excitedly. You can't believe it. Dad has found your old computer. A future 128k plus 2. It's been preserved well in the attic and hopefully still works. Okay, use computer. You untangle the cables and set up the computer. The computer's all set up and ready to go. There's a game here too. Oh, 
look at game. It's a new horror game called The House Abandoned. Looks ace. Nice. That's what we're playing just now. Are we going to go for some sort of Inception idea here? Uh, let's play the game. Let's see. Play a game within a game. You put the cassette in the computer and press play. Yeah, that's right. Games used to come in cassettes. I was not expecting that. What just happened? Okay. Mild power outage there, but the game would not load up again unless you reloaded the whole thing. You had to type in load quotation mark, whatever the game is called, quotation mark enter, and then press play on the cassette player. And that noise was the game. All information. You pull up to the driveway of the family holiday home and park the car. It's dark, but it's clearly neglected. You remember being told to check the glove box before going in. You can't stand to be near this place. Uh, I... Okay. Um... Check glove box. Okay. The glove box is closed. Well, obviously. Open... Glove box. There's a note and a key, both of which you take. Okay, let's read the note. You don't recognize the handwriting, it says, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out the car. Get out the car, get out, get out the car, get out, get out, get out, get. Ah. Right. You're sat slumped to the car, you have a note clutched in one hand and a key in the other. You need to get out, but you don't really want to. Well, we're gonna get out anyway. This is taking a turn for the weird. The house looks abandoned. Well, that's why it's called the house abandoned. There's a yard to the side, wood creaks in the wind, and all happy memories are gone from this place. There is no love here. You reluctantly exit the car. Well, I'm guessing we just do the same as what we did last time, so... Go to yard. You step through the debris to the backyard. The grass is overgrown and weeds crawl up the side of the house. It's not a nice place to be. You clutch the note, needing to look around. Okay, well that's exactly what we'll do. Around. There's an old generator next to you. Use generator. There's not much fuel, but the generator starts up. Okay, now I know what I'm doing here, so go to house. You go back to the front of the house. The house looks abandoned. There's a yard to the site. I know, okay. Use key. Uh, use key, sorry. There we go. You unlock the door. The click of the lock hurts to hear. Open door. Pitch black, but your senses are punished more by the smell. Still air and damp, this could not be less inviting. The note burns in your hands, you feel compared to read it over and over. Okay, well, who might argue with that? It's too dark to read, but it feels weird to touch. Okay, uh, let's look around, because I haven't mentioned the light switch yet. Fumbling around the wet walls, you find the light switch. Okay, use light switch. I'm sorry, I don't understand. Um... Use switch. You switch the light on, but wished you hadn't. The lights flicker on and off. The walls are falling apart after years of neglect or worse. There are stains and trails all over the fucking Whoa! Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop, okay. Stop, 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 stop. Okay. Somehow the alarm stops. You can feel the panic setting in. You're stuck in the hallway. The noise has stopped, but you feel a presence. Someone is in the house. They should not be here. There's a kitchen in the living room. Adjacent and stairs leading up. Okay. It doesn't say anything. Okay, I'm gonna read the note again. I can't read the note. It's bleeding. Lovely. Okay, um, go to... Living room. Okay, it's... Ah, uh, come on. Let me, let me, let me take it. Okay, go to... Living room. There we go. Yeah, it's in the living room. The living room, although hardly an appropriate term, the furniture is threadbare and worn. The note is fixed in your mind. Dread fills the pit of your stomach. This is not a nice place. I'm going to read the note again. The note always changing now reads, Get through this. I don't care if you want to or not. Okay. The living room, although hardly an appropriate term, the furniture is threadbare and worn. The note is fixed in your mind. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, um... Okay, sorry about that. Something weird happened with my recording. It just completely crashed out there. But yeah, it's, it's still got bugs because it's a new computer and all that. You know, the the future row 128 k plus 2. It's, it's a bit jittery, but yeah, anyway. So, um, 
There's nothing in the living room, so let's uh, go to kitchen. So I don't understand, okay? Uh, go to hallway. You return to the hallway. You're still in the hallway, but the noise is up. You feel a presence. Someone is in the house. Blah, 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 whatever. Okay, uh, go to kitchen. That's time. You go to the kitchen. The kitchen stinks and feels completely unfamiliar. The table's a rusty metal and there's a carcass on the table. There's writing on the wall and the utility room has a red X painted on it. Read wall. The number 1986 is written across the wall in what looks like blood. And lightning's going on. Look at table. I'm oh, sorry, okay. Uh, look at carcass. You look closer but can't tell what it is or what it was. Okay, go to hallway. Step back to the hallway. Your shoes are wet. The noise has stopped, but you feel a presence. Someone is in the house. They should not be here. This is. There's a kitchen. Yeah, I know. I know all this. Okay, but there's, there's weird stuff happening. 1986 is now written on the wall. Okay, go upstairs. You head up the stairs to where the noise came from. Same, but different. The landing has access to your sister's sister's room. Okay, and the phone starts to ring. Uh, you don't understand, neither can he. Uh, okay, answer... Phone. You hear him answer the phone. Your mind hurts and you taste iron. Voices spill out the phone and into the room. Whoever's in here should not be there. You need to hang up the phone. I do. Whoever. Uh, you consider the worst. Okay. Hang up. Relief. Someone is behind the door. The doors are all boarded up with the exception of your room. You have to get in. The pictures look different from before. The note trembles. The guilt is overwhelming. Let's check out the note again. The note is now clean again. Simply reading, get in, get out. You have to go through with it. Okay. Go to my room. Crap. Right. Uh, go to my room. Room. That's it. Yeah, there we go. The door is bolted shut with a four digit combination lock, and I'm guessing I know what those four digits are. Okay. Use lock. You grab the lock. The lock is rusted, not used in years. The key in your hand weighs heavy. The note's heavier. You grab the lock and can now input the code 1986. The lock clicks open. Someone is behind the door. The doors are all boarded up with the exception of your room. You have to get in. The pictures look different from before. The note trembles. The guilt is overwhelming. Read. Note. The note is now clean again. Simply reading, get in, get out. You have to go through with it. Okay. Open door. Okay. Okay, I wrote like, go to my room. The door is closed. Open door. You open the bedroom door and the door, the, 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 yeah, the door, the door is just open in the, the game as well, okay. Look around. The landing is bare and worn, photos are on the wall. Okay, um, go and go in, okay. No. Go to my room. You enter the bedroom. It feels utterly familiar. The walls are damp. You've been here before. In front of you, a lone person sits in front of a computer screen. The lamp is on. The clock reads 99.99. You shouldn't be here. I shouldn't be here. You grip the note tight. Um, look at person. Rocking back and forth, consumed by guilt. Um, talk to person. You struggle out a hello. Everything you say, I say. Everything you are, I am. A feeling of hopelessness you gripped on the note tightens further. Read note. Okay. I'm sorry, Jennifer. I'm sorry, Mum. I'm sorry, Dad. You haunt every step I take, even in this place. It was out of my hands, but you still, you punish me. I can be with you now. There is nothing left to do. I'm consumed and confused. This has to end now. Okay, and you're pathetic, it was all your fault, say it. Okay, that was all your fault. Oh, please stop, 
it was all my fault, see it. Alright, fine, fine, fine. It was all my fault, apparently. Whatever it was, I did. Okay. Finally. What? Did we just admit to something? I have no idea what just happened there. Were we in hell? Okay. The house abandoned a no code game, no code art, John McKellen no more can. Graham McKellen and Jeff Angus. What a great name, Jeff Angus. Alright, anyway, yeah, this uh, this was an interesting one, actually. Um, nice little nice little take on the sort of um, 80s horror thing. Um, the 80s are so popular this year for some reason, and I was around then, so I know what I'm talking about. The 80s were actually quite good fun. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you want to play this game for yourself, I'll put a link in the description below. If you've got any suggestions for any games you want me to play, please use the Epic Blade link. And I'll catch you next time, but until then... Bye-bye. Better than here, lads. Get in here. Nothing in here. Okay. What in the fuck is that? Oh, two things. Whoa! I don't like that.